Hey, what's up guys? All right, so uh, as you can see, we got a good bit of rainfall this morning. So I uh, actually walked about a mile down, down the road to the Bush River. Well, to the entrance of the woods, it'll eventually get me to the Bush River if uh, I can get through all this mud. But uh, yeah, it all starts off this little stream. You can see it's all muddy. It's uh, water's up real high. But we got a nice little bridge to go across it. Now, uh, yeah, today's not going to be a day for uh, getting wet. As you can see, water's everywhere. Got my my boots on, but um, yeah, I'm just going to walk down here, see how far I can make it without tripping on camera and looking like a fool. Oh yeah, here's a big uh, big crossing up here. Not not this one. Because in like a swamp over there. But yeah, right here. I guess I'm just gonna trudge through it. Like I don't care. Yeah. Got a good bit of water going through here. Just I just scared a big doe over there to my right before I turned the camera on. I wish I had it on so I could have got her on here. She took off running through the brush. Alright, now I'm up here to actually somewhat of a of a real trail. All right. Now I'm hoping that uh, it's not so marshy that I can't get off of the trail, but I might have to stick stick to the trail. That way I can actually uh, make it out of here without soggy boots and wet pants. Yeah, got a lot of got a lot of water over here. As you can see big swamp it's all nice and brown you can tell how high the water is so where this trail is going to take me should take me out to the bush river which i haven't been down here in a long time um i think last time i came down here the the water was up pretty high too not quite this high see it's going all the way across the trail Yeah, it's, uh, it's up pretty high. Good thing I brought my boots. Alright, now when I get out here to the big river, I'm going to check it out, see if it's worth, uh, you know, walking a fishing pole and stuff down here. Once it dries up here a little bit, I can go, uh, Grab a cup full of my uh, homegrown worms that I got and come down here and hopefully catch some fish. But uh, yeah, I'll check back in here in a couple minutes once I get up the trail a little bit. All right, so I just got here. You can tell this all washed up. All the sticker bushes or brambles or whatever you want to call them are down on the ground. You see the fishing signs down over here. Can you see it? Yeah, but all these big logs washed up. Tree fell down. Yeah, this is all a lot higher. And it smells, there's this fish smell in the air. I guess shit washed in and, and when the water went down, they died and it's just like this putrid fish smell. Oh, oh, it's rough. I hope I, I, I get uh, you know, on the other side of the wind. That's actually pretty cool. It's a big root ball from an old tree washed up. That's cra pretty crazy looking. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You could probably make something cool out of that, actually. Too bad I'm not hauling that out of here. All right. All right, so I got down the trail a little bit. Came across these. I don't remember these down here, but uh, I might have. This, this path is uh, one of the few ones on the left side of down here, so I'm pretty sure I've been down here before, but I just don't remember these wooden uh, little boardwalk things. But uh, yeah, it's really muddy here. You can. You can hear like suction cups, my boots going through it. And you can hear all the rain pittering down on the leaves. That sounds so cool. Oh yeah, real, real muddy. And I think I'm coming up 
to the river up here right now. I think that's actually the water smacking, well the rain smacking the water, not so much the leaves. Oh yeah, I can see the brown water, it's up real high. Oh yeah, a lot of down trees. See it's smacking in the trees over there. Still getting used to this, uh, using this camera on this phone. It's like using a mirror. Yeah, see all this sand and stuff all washed up. Yep, so that's the Bush River. Well, no, that's leading into the Bush River. I don't think I'm going to make it to the Bush River just because of how muddy it is. And uh, good luck crossing this thing on a day like today. You can see, usually, if you're down here fishing, you're standing down here. You'd be about almost, almost up to your like waist, well past your knees. Yeah, and there's these big trees down here all the time. They're all, all over the place. If that was a few foot longer, I could get across this damn thing. Yeah, right, I would not risk that. And you see, everything's moving pretty fast, too. Oh, yeah. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to try to get up, up the trail a little bit pay more attention to where I'm walking so I don't fall so uh, I'll check back in in another second All right, guys. All right, so I just hung out, checked out the river for a little bit. Now I'm getting up here to this real, real swampy stuff. I'm gonna try to trek through all that. Looks like some deer ran through that way. I don't know why they went this way. Maybe they, they know something, I don't know. All right, but yeah, oh yeah, this is about, this is well up over the tops of my boots. Oh man. There's a good bit of bugs out here today. You see this, this stuff's a, pretty thick through here I'm not I'm not walking through any uh any regular trails anymore oh man oh yeah good thing I wore pants today that would have been a big mistake all right back up here to the stream a little bit a little bit further up As you can see yeah nothing nothing new here more more up uh, just brown water rolling along that's actually a big tree. You see how wide that thing is? Man. And you see somebody's been back here planting uh, little little saplings or whatever. I hope those things are biodegradable. Or else there's gonna be tubes everywhere. Oh man, this stuff coming up looks like raptor territory. Oh, something over there. What's that thing dancing around like that for? I guess it's, it's just the water. Good thing uh, around here there's not really any any big wildlife or anything like that. You run into a deer and then there's a lot of fox. And then the, the, the always vicious uh, squirrel. Oh God, yeah, if I'm going to get ticks, it's going to be in here. See, yeah, this stuff's pretty, pretty high. What's that little guy? Can you see him? Little dragonfly with a, he's got like a fluorescent blue body and these pitch black wings, man. 
Oh, little, little bench right here, overgrown. Yeah, I'm definitely not sitting on that. I'd rather sit on my my ankles. Yeah, there's a lot of big trees down back here today. That guy. Yeah, I'm starting to get distracted. I gotta pay more attention to where I'm walking or I'm gonna make a bad, uh, bad move and fall. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff running around out here, tearing up all the undergrowth and stuff. I'm just glad it doesn't felt, smell like a fish anymore. All right, let me navigate through this little last bit and get back up to another clearing. All right, guys, made it out here to another little opening. Nice little grassed area right off the edge of the stream. Yeah, you can tell uh, before the, the rains came through, this was uh, easily crossable. You could get over to the other side. Now, uh, I would not try that. <laughs> Definitely not. But, uh, it's actually kind of cool. You can see how crazy the rain got. It's like the third piece of bamboo I've seen down here. And I know that there's there's no bamboo anywhere near here because when you see one piece of bamboo, there's well, there's never just one piece of bamboo. So uh, that definitely came down the stream a good ways. I'm just wondering. It probably came from Winter's Run. I know there's a lot of, a lot of bamboo along one side of that river. Now I'm going to keep trekking along, heading upstream. I'm back in the thick of things. Now I'm starting to really get worried about uh, ticks. Let me go around that little bit. See, it's hard to tell. I can't even tell if I'm walking down a, a footpath or if it's just a trail that's been made by all the water running off, which I'm starting to think it's, ooh, I think I found a footpath now. Yeah, oh yeah. I think this one's actually a little bit of both. Yeah, I'm not getting any traction here. Yeah, yeah, I could have easily got a cross out down there last week. Uh, that's some kind of animal. Judging by how near they are, I'd say it's a hoof. Um, oh man, yeah, I don't really know where I'm going now. This is just turning into a big marsh. Oh man. This makes me want to bring a truck back here, how muddy this is, but that'd probably be a bad idea. Oh yeah, it's super sticky. All right, I can't tell if this is getting drier or muddier. I'd like to see some animals. Ooh, what am I getting up to up here? I hear a woodpecker. It's always nice to hear a woodpecker when you're not laying in bed, I guess. Then they're annoying. Out here to another. That tree got sheared off. Oh, yeah, I wonder if that was just wind or if that was lightning or something. Got a lot of built up down wood over here. It ran downstream. Oh yeah, there's a lot right here. Yeah, if I, uh, if I didn't care about getting wet today, I would try to cross that. But if I go in that water, man, that's probably up to my nipples. I definitely don't want that. Yeah, you can see there's whole trunks coming up, up there. The water's no, never this high. Looks like a piece of fence over there on the other side of the trees came washing down. That's, that sucks, I don't know how that happened. I'm starting to decide if I want to keep going, if I want to turn back and uh, 
head back to the bridge, the entrance. So I'm probably a good hour and a half walk, as slow as it's taken me. But yeah, I might uh, sit down here, enjoy the view, maybe see if I can uh, find any wildlife, and then I'll probably start heading back. But yeah, I'm gonna take a breather. So I got some uh, wind back in my sails, starting to trek back to the bridge so I can get out of here. Ain't, ain't really too much to see back here with the water like this because I can't really cross anywhere. I'd like to go uh, over on the other side and go to some other places, but um, I think I got a good look at it. I'm really glad that uh, there's still cool places like this that I can go to around, around where I live. You know, so much of it's being built up. It's nice to be able to go out into the woods, not run into another person, and just, you know, enjoy it back here. Back to the swamp. Oh, man. It's like walking through pudding. Oh, man, pudding. Yep, coming back through here. Oh. All right. So I just got back off the trail that I turned off of the main trail onto. Now, I'm gonna keep going forward and see what's coming up that uh, I missed out on earlier. As you can see, there ain't much difference except it turns to grass instead of gravel. I think it's just gonna end up at this, uh, back at that, the bigger, bigger stream that I was at, the river. Yep, I see it coming up here. So this is probably the spot that I don't want to go to if I come down here to go fishing because anybody else that's down here is going to come here. So this would be a lot easier than walking through all that brush. Nice little spot right here. Yep, so let's see how far up here I can get. So, yeah, we're back out here on the main river. I guess I took the long, the long way before. Yeah, I don't know how much further into this brush I'm gonna go. Looks like there's a little pier up here. Let's go see what's up with that. I guess this probably comes out closer to the opposite side of the woods because I don't see people walking down here carrying lumber. God, no, I just heard something over there. God, that kind of scares me. All right, now let's go see what this is all about. Huh. That's pretty cool. I wonder why people put this here. See? Bug in my face. Yep, and then it winds back around. All right, so I was sitting out here watching the water for a little bit. 
and I decided to make my uh, little mark on the the wood out here. All right, but um, I think I've spent enough time out here. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, get something, get something real heavy to eat. All right, guys, I'm walking through the woods right now, and there's some big birds up in front of me. I'm guessing they're like buzzards or vultures or something, but uh, let's see if you can see them. All right, I'm just gonna keep walking up to them until they fly away. I guess they're uh, picking on whatever the hell I smelled out here earlier, that putrid fish. I must have walked right over it. Let's see how close I, oh, a third one. You see how big that thing is? Let's see how close up I can get. All right, it looks like that's about up. As far as they'll let me get, as close as they'll let me get. Now let's get up here and get a look at what they're eating. I don't really want to smell it, but uh, that's, oh God, I can smell it. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh it's, a, it's the front half of a fish, two fish. Oh, maggots all over him, his eyes are, whoa. There's like 10 fish, look at all this. That's what I smelled before. You see all them bugs? Holy crap. Oh, now I feel bad for interrupting their meal. Oh, that is raunchy. All right, I'm gonna get out of here, get away from that smell as fast as I can. But yeah, there was like a dozen fish right there. Uh, there they are up in the trees. See him? Hey guys. Come on birds. And there's another one over there. Oh yeah, you can see them. All right, well at least I got to see some kind of animals. I'll leave them alone and let them get back to eating. All right, guys, so I just got back to the bridge. Now, uh, figured before I make the rest of the walk, figure uh, take a break, talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, yeah, it was, uh, wasn't a bad, bad little hike. Glad I actually got to see some, some animals, the birds and the fish. And I'll, I hope the birds actually get um, that fish cleaned up off the trail before I come down here next. Because that, that smell was not pleasant. I smelled that for, I mean, a good 300 yards of that trail, that stretch of the trail right there. It was brutal. But yep, as you can see, here's my little local stream crossing my little bridge. Not my little bridge, but the county's bridge, I guess. But, um, but yeah. Figure if uh, you guys you guys enjoyed this, if you get it a uh, subscribe, maybe a thumbs up, yeah, you know, so I can know uh, keep filming this stuff. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be walking around the woods with nothing to do. So um, yeah, throw something in the comments. Let me know. Let me know you're watching, and uh, you know I'll see you on the next one. Take care.